Hey everybody, welcome to the Narrow Gate with Andrew Crossy. Um, a big happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. So please click like, subscribe and share so that we can all grow in the faith together and with the love of Christ in our hearts. Back to that Narrow Gate and back home to heaven. We're all part of this heavenly family. So praise God. So I want to say a big a big shout out to St. Patrick. Um, Patrick coming here when he was sent here when he was uh, arrested and sent here when he was only 16 years of age and um, went on to um, uh, was put on to Slemish Mountain um, for six years um, tending the, the flock and um, Patrick pr- uh, relentlessly pr- prayed morning and night to the Lord but Patrick had a a, a prophetic dream in which um, he had to walk 200 miles along the coast of Ireland to this boat. Um, he was shown this clearly and he made the journey and got onto this boat, went back to England, um, lived a monastic life, became a priest and then had to come back to Ireland. Um, he, had, he had this great love for Ireland in his heart and for the people. And um, Ireland was um, riddled in paganism back then. And... Um, Patrick came back to evangelize Ireland and to spread the, the gospel of the Lord. Um, Patrick came back and uh, baptized 120,000 uh, people and um, went on to uh, build many churches in Ireland, spreading Christianity throughout this country. So we today benefit of our great and glorious St. Patrick. Um, and we ask him to intercede for us and our families today um, to walk with us, to journey with us, um, to journey in our faith together, to strengthen us and to instill the love of God in our hearts that Patrick had. Um, and so for us today, we need to go out and we need to continue the message of St. Patrick, continue spreading the word of God in this country, continue spreading Christianity, because you can see um, paganism is is very much alive and you can see the, um, the decline in the faith in this country as well. So um, we need to be brave and bold and courageous for Christ. We need to just go out into the by roads and, you know, uh, fish for little souls, you know, just to, to let them know that they're infinitely and eternally loved, um, that the emptiness that's within their heart, that that emptiness is the void that Jesus seeks to reside in their souls, to fill that emptiness. It's the emptiness that's within one soul is is the absence of faith and the absence of um, prayer. So a big shout out to St. Patrick on this beautiful day, folks, probably one of the most desecrated saints in the world. When you think about it, um, uh, throughout the world, people falling around drunk and falling all over the place. They don't get the full understanding of it. And I'm not judging because I was there one time myself. Um, but when you step into the rich, the richness of our faith, of our Catholic faith, um, then <laughs> you get a different set of eyes, a different set of ears to see and hear. So, um, yeah, I um, for many years I used to play music and stuff on St. Patrick's Day. And, um, yeah, I was in the world. But now I'm in the world and not off the world, thanks be to God and closer to Christ. Um, you know, and, 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 and this, this great saint's day, you know, for our saint, our glorious St. Patrick, um, it's it's just important that we go to mass and we honor honor Saint Patrick, and honor the treasure that was um, bestowed upon this country by his mission to come back and spread through Christianity throughout this country because we benefit today from it. Um, thank good God. I mean, the love of Christ, the mercy of Christ, was brought to the shores of Ireland by our beloved Saint Patrick. So thank you, St. Patrick. We just love you and we um, we venerate you this day. And we ask you to share your grace, love and light down in this beautiful Ireland to, to intercede for us in a very special way to, that the spirit of St. Patrick flies through this country, north, south, east and west, planting the seed of the Holy Spirit in everybody's heart that the faith will rise again, that people will rise again to faith, that the churches will be absolutely packed out again, that they'll come to know the 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 beauty of our faith, the beauty of Christ's love and mercy, the beauty of that atoning blood. 
um, the beauty of our blessed Mother Mary, who is interceding for us uh, morning, noon and night before her son's precious throne. So a big shout out to all those um, on the narrow gate. Please like, share and subscribe. That's just a short little video um, on our beloved St. Patrick. So hail glorious St. Patrick, dear saint of our land. All right, folks, God bless you and happy St. Patrick's Day. Amen.